heroin is a huge problem throughout the United States. 8,200 deaths nationwide, 450 right here in Florida. About 20% of those occurred here in the Orlando area. Since January of this year, the Orange County Sheriff's Office has responded to 75 different heroin drug overdose incidents. Agencies around Central Florida, including the UCF Police Department, are preparing for a heroin battle. Well, heroin is prevalent everywhere. Is there anybody in the car? Okay. This is footage from UCF Police Corporal Adam Casebolt's body camera. A car crashes into a building on campus. Officers say the driver and his friend were high on heroin. Are you okay? Your friend yeah, said you might okay. have been having some chest pains or something. Well, my chest is a little okay. bit bothering me. All right, I have some paramedics coming for you. Within a few seconds of arriving, I, uh, it became pretty clear it was a heroin-related incident. Corporal Casebolt says he's had two cases dealing with suspects high on heroin within the last two months. Nine dollar units on scene, just be aware there's a uh, syringe underneath the driver's mat. I noticed that there was an a injectable syringe on the floorboard. Also some of his body tremors and his um, reaction of his body gave me an indication of possible heroin use. Now UCF police have a new weapon in the fight against the deadly drug. It's known as naloxone. It's basically an opiate antagonist. Corporal Casebolt says it's similar to an EpiPen for overdoses. He's required to carry it at all times. Pull off red safety guard. Once I remove that guard, it is uh, able to be administered. There is an injectable inside of this red safety guard. You would then inject it to a, a meaty portion of a thigh or something like that. You administer it for about five seconds. And that's basically to try to uh, sustain life and to bring them back and counter the effects in a temporary basis until fire rescue can respond and transport them for further medical treatment. UCF Deputy Chief Brett Mead says the force received a $90,000 grant from a pharmaceutical company to use the medication, which blocks the effects of an overdose. If you envision the receptors in your brain and, and, and if you envision heroin or opiates as bubbles that attach to those receptors, what naloxone does is it dissipates those, those, those bubbles temporarily. Officers say the heroin danger is not going away. It's so cheap to get and it's so easy to get. We had between five and ten opiate overdose cases on campus last year. That's strictly on campus. However, if you go right off campus, the, the numbers explode on heroin arrest, on heroin overdoses, on heroin deaths. Now campus police are trained and ready in a new way to save lives. In Orlando, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.